he did this why so I can only record reactions. I did those straight through and this was just nothing but ranting and shit. 40 minute recording probably would have like 10 minutes of footage out of that. I don't even want to do it anymore. I'm just mad at it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Proof I'm not a lonely motherfucker. Still got the homie Uncle Bobby here. Been using that motherfucker to my advantage. According to like reactions and shit. Because they're just born alone. They just straight born alone. But <laughs> they are man. They born alone. Yeah. It's hella funny when you got someone with you. We can actually get views off that. Hell yeah. We're talking all talking all kinds of shit about the school and how they tried to fuck with me. I just hit them harder. I, I remember the story. I remember the story real quick about how the one time they actually fucked with me, and the one time that it was actually legit senior year. I've been trying to think of story times because I've been wanting to do story times here and there, like in between videos and shit, like videos I could actually let be 40, 50 minutes long. And this is one of them, but before we get into it, this nigga's still playing Minecraft, dude. You're not 12. He's been playing that all damn night. I've been playing it for like six hours. Straight up. 4.50. It is 5 a.m. How the fuck are we still up? No break. No sleep. I mean, I didn't get up to like 12. I mean, but I, still. I, I've been up since like 6 this morning, so. This motherfucker can just stay awake. I can't do I, I, I could do that in middle school. I can't do that no more. But anyway, no more sidetracks. This video is going to be long enough. Okay. So the principals at my school, administration's always been dickheads. Fuck them. Fuck them all. I've tried to fight them a couple times. Dude been so bitch made. All he had the balls to do was try to call the cops on me. They all bitch made as fuck, right? Alright, finally proved to them they couldn't fuck with me no more. I fucking, I just screwed them. I fucked them. Not important why, not important how, I just know I fucked them. I won. Not that hard. You just gotta, you just gotta play your cards right. Use certain shit to your advantage. Lie like a motherfucker while you're at it. But who cares? Who gives a fuck? Like, straight up. But, cause, okay. So, senior year, I was trying to stay out of trouble, I think up to this whole year, like up to this year I was in detention, in and out, I was, I was always cussing in class, pretty much had a, I don't give a fuck attitude towards teachers because they pissed me off, and um, you still haven't opened that one? Yeah, nigga, nigga what the fuck, oh, no, nigga, um, this nigga, trying to get me fat, so it's like, it's like, this year, I just finally decided, I'm like, hell, I'm going to act a little bit like an adult, a little bit more. Like, at this point, I had a job, but really didn't have the energy to go and just, like, fuck with... I didn't really have time to, you know, try to come up with schemes to just fuck teachers and principals up. To, you know, give them back a million times worse they gave me. I'm trying to be adult. A little bit more mature. Alright. Me being me. I didn't have a vehicle. I'm not even sure if I could... I had a moped still. I had a moped at the moment. I ain't sure if I could row that school. I think I could have. Uh, no. No, I'm pretty sure I could have. Jake, no, no dude, I could have. Yeah, the dude I bought it off of rode at school a couple times. Stra yeah, I remember that. I rode to school with Kyle and Hunter, but Kyle and Hunter a couple times. And he literally rode at some bitch school, and they didn't say shit. Yeah, I could have. Actually. Man, that kind of pisses me off. But me being me, broke-ass motherfucker, I rode the bus, because I'm going to gonna use my own gas. My mom's gas, I'm going to use their gas. Like, what the fuck? It's stupid. So... Riding the bus. Got on the bus one morning. Typical average day. Not now the ordinary, you know, I got up at six in the morning like you like the usual. Got up at six AM. YouTube videos still playing. Just would just keep letting the random videos play. Eat breakfast, get dressed. And then you know about that took me to about six thirty. Bus rolls around about seven eighteen for me, I think. Seven eighteen, something like that. So I'm like 715 to 718, I don't know, somewhere in there. It's no matter the door by 715 waiting on it. Okay. So you know, 630. Still at time. Normal day. Smoke me up a joint like usual. Got stoned to death. I was waiting on the bus. Got stoned to death like usual for bus came. Alright. Bus rolled up now. Now the ordinary. Honestly, pretty good day actually. Felt pretty good. Woke up on a pretty good side of the bed. Um got on the bus. Did like I usually do. Said hi, you know, got past all the little kids, they annoying. Then all my, like, friends, like, my dudes in high school and shit, you know, said, you know, what's up? Said, you know, hi to everyone. And out of the ordinary, shook a dude's hand, like, I should. I think you may know about this, actually. You know, dude seen me, I ain't seen him on the bus in a few days, cause he'd been helping rides with dudes. Shook the dude's hand, you know, didn't even do a hand slip, so she had just rolled up, shook the dude's hand. You know, that, just that. Went back to my seat, and very back. 
set, listen to music, back to dip, stoned to death, everyone on the bus sitting in the back, fucking knew what I, knew what I was, knew I was stoned to death, they was all like, like fucking with me, they loved it, I fucked those dudes, <laughs> fuck those guys, they knew, they knew fuck I was, fuck you, if y'all knew I was stoned, y'all fucked with me, every time, <laughs> they just, they did it, they, they, if they found out I was stoned, they fuck with me every time, <laughs> like the whole bus ride too, but, Oh, this nigga rode my bus, by the way. That's kind of probably kind of confusing. But anyway, day still going normal. I don't even think I packed a dip this. I can't remember that far back. But I don't even think I had any dip on me at the moment. No, I did. Yeah, because he took a couple of my cans and I stole them back. Yeah, I did have dip at the moment, but didn't have much in it for work. Didn't have any money left. I need that can to stretch. So I didn't pack a dip. I just only had it on me for work. Yeah, because I asked you for a dip and you was like, nah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't even dip myself because I only had like a can on me and I needed it for work. So, like, I wouldn't even do anything today. Like, today was pretty normal. Like, yeah, I was stoned, but besides that, I mean. Yeah, that was normal. Yeah, it was normal. I've been doing that shit since, like, freshman year. Normal as fuck. Um, so, go to school, everything's normal. First period, you know, cut shit up with people. Things going pretty good. Watch, first period pretty good. Watch a video. It's fun. Um, roll up second period, same shit. No, this period, I... Fuck, okay, hold up, let me y'all, I'll need. i have to cut this out probably. I need to plug in my phone, I forgot about that. I'll be pissed if it cuts before and halfway through. Okay, so second period rolls around. I did have a dip in, but it wasn't my dip. A dude that bums dip off of me every fucking day in that class. He waits for me, watches me, waits for me to put a dip in. Go sit next to me, yo, let me get one, let me get one. And I have to fend him off half time. Sometimes I feel nice to give him one. This day in particular, he had a can. He's rolled up on me, he's like, yo, you want to dip? Slapped it down on the table, I was like, hell yeah, this bitch didn't give a fuck. Slapped down the table, put me one in, gave him back his can. And I was being like, not really cocky today, but I just was like, like, I don't really give a fuck mood, like, fuck. I ain't, fuck, they catch me, whatever, I don't give a damn. Whatever. Um, which I'm usually in that mood, but this one was particular. Like, particularly, like, hard. But, um, so class going good, halfway through class. Principal, usually you can fucking hear this dude coming, like a mile away. He was super duper slick about this one. Strap opened the door for once. Usually he usually he comes into the classroom. Everyone fucking knows about it. And usually I'm one of the first motherfuckers to know. Like I like I can hear him. You can hear his fucking keys. You can just hear him. Um. He came in, super duper slick as fuck. Uh, the teacher finally called him. Just looked at him. When she just looked straight, we all looked back, and he was like, was "Like I need to see him." Pointed at me like, just "Like come here." And when I figured. I was like, fuck, he just walked in to check on the class or something or get someone. Dude seen me spit. Don't even try to hide it. I just spit again. I swear to God, if he didn't see me, he's retarded. So I spit right in front of him, put my spear in my backpack. I'm like, do I need to do my backpack? So I thought I was caught for dipping. He's like, yep, come on. And he was like, first thing we got out the door, I was just waiting on him. I was like, I ain't going to try to hide my dip. He done caught me. So I'm just like waiting for him to be like, yo, let me see your bag and shit. Figured we'd stop right there, check my bag, find my dip, find my spitter, then I go to detention. That's how shit usually goes. But this was being weird, so it tripped me up. He just like kept walking, and I didn't say nothing. I wasn't gonna tell on myself. He didn't caught me. But at that point, I was like, okay, this is weird. Is he just gonna like just straight take me to the detention room, or like what? Usually, he likes to feel big and you know sit there and uh, bully you for a good 15 minutes before he sends you out or sends you on. So I'm like, this is fucking weird. So, he's like, come here, come on. And I'm like, I wouldn't even expect him to walk. I thought he was just going to stand there. And he's like, come on. I'm like, he's being kind of cool about it, too. He's being weird. He's being particularly cool. This motherfucker never cool to me. I'm never cool to him. He wasn't being a hard ass. He wasn't trying to be big. He's like, yo. He's like, dude, what are you doing? Like, come on. And I'm like, all right, where are we going? He's like, office, come on. And I'm like, just sitting there thinking, I'm like, you being way too chill, man. What you got planned? What is about to happen? What type of fuck shit is going on in your head? We get a little piece down the hallway where he knew he's alone with no one hears, I guess. And he's like, so who'd you talk to this morning? And I was like, when I talked to a lot of people, like where it's like second period, not being a smart ass, but I've had plenty of time to talk to a lot of people who you to be more specific. And he was like, oh, on the bus. I was like, I talked to a lot of people. Um, the Miller girls, uh, Bobby a little bit, Elijah Vaught. And at this point, I was just like, cloak, that's cool. I was like, some motherfuckers get him for everything. I was like, okay, well, he's calling me in because 
Bobby did some fuck shit on the bus. I'm like, that's what this is about. I'm like, yeah, he just did some fuck shit when I'm told on him for something. Probably didn't even do. He's going to call me in and ask me. He's going to make me go to the office, get me out of class for a little bit. Talk, ask me about some fuck shit like that. And I was like, them? He's like, are you sure? Is that, is that all you did? That's all you did this morning. I'm like, yeah, on the bus. I got on the bus, you know, said hi to everyone in the high school, you know. Fought, Bobby, girls. Other people, Stone King, if he was on, I don't remember if he was on or not, but if he was on, I was like, said hi to him. And then went to my seat, sat down, put in my headphones, just like I always do every morning. And he was like, no, you didn't. I was like, in my head, I'm like, true stone to death, but I was there. You know, I know what I did. And I couldn't piece anything together. Because I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, I ain't done nothing this morning. I wasn't dipping. I wasn't cussing. I was literally just got on the bus, put on my headphones. And just rolled out my high. I was like, what the, what the f literal fuck? I know he didn't catch me stoned this late. There's no way he did. Because so I've got on them buses hella more obvious. This time it was just like, just, just chill on my own business. I've been hella more obvious about it before. Fucking It's like, there ain't no way. So I'm like, I'm, I'm like kind of scared at this point. I'm like, what the fuck? Does he either think I did? Or someone says I'm fuck shit and said I did? Like, what? We get to his office and I usually... With this motherfucker, if he calls you, if he calls you out, you know, you know what you did. Or you know what he called you for. Usually, you know, you know. It was tripping me out to not know at all what the fuck was going on. And when he was like, talking all the fuck shit about me, I'm like, okay, well, I ain't going for this motherfucker, so what the fuck is up? Get to his office. We get to his office. Dude shut the door. Never shuts the door, I get it, because he likes to feel hard and like to hear, well, he likes to let other people in administration hear him cut, like, yelling at kids. So I was like, God damn, dude, what is this? We get into his office, and he just sits down and straight stares at me. And I just get comfortable and look at him like, so what's up? You know, it's about, what's about, it's about Bobby being Bobby or some shit, someone else on the bus or what? Like, some fight threatening to break out? You want deets on it? Well, what's going down? Cause for once, I actually ain't done nothing. He's like, I don't believe that. And I'm like, but every other time, if I do something and you call me out, I'm like, can't call me out. I'm like, yeah, I did it. Whatever. What, what about it? You know, and you know that for a fact. And he's like, yeah, but it's a little bit more serious. And I'm like, at that point, I didn't say it. I'm like, okay, fuck. This dude knows I got, dude knows I was stoned on the bus. Bus driver monitor, just some kid on the bus, smelt it, seen me, called me, called me the fuck out on it and told him. Well, yeah, that's what it's about. I got caught being high on school ground. I'm like, okay, yep. I'm going, I'm 18, going to jail. Going to jail over a joint. Going even that good. <sighs> At least it was a fatty. And he's like, so I'm going to ask you one more time, give you a chance to be honest with me, and it'll be hell easier on you. We'll just, we won't even get the cops involved. We'll just handle it, me and you. And I looked at him right then and there, and I, I said right then and there, I don't even spoke up. I just wanted to hear what he had to say until that. I'm like, cops. I look at him, I'm like, what the actual, I said this word for word, what the actual fuck did I do? And he looked at me, and I'm like, he looked at me, and I'm like, don't even say nothing. We both adults. We both heard it before. We and y'all say no one hears. What did I do? Straight up. I don't know this time. I really don't. Clueless. And he, he's looked at me, he's like, I tried to help you. Played, played a bus video. And I'm like, sitting, he like, he's like, watch this video. And I'm like, dude, I'm sitting there thinking, like, dude, I know I wasn't that stoned. I don't know it for a fact. I didn't pack a dip. I know them shitty ass cameras, even if I had my camera in the back pocket, which I didn't, or my front pocket, like I usually do, which I didn't, the camera's too shitty to pick that up. Way too shitty. Like, they barely, you can barely point out, like, you gotta look, you gotta freeze frame it and look at someone for a good 15 minutes where you can, like, mold out who they actually is. So he played a video, played it, you know, I got on the bus, and I was like, alright, we're at your stop. I'm like, oh, I'm like, okay. He's like, there's you getting on. I'm like, I can tell, it's me. And he, he stopped right when I shook Elijah's hand. And he was like, he paused. He's like, what's that? And I'm like, me sh shaking a dude's hand? Like, uh, how a normal, like how a normal person usually does when they ain't seen someone in a few days, you know? You say, yo, how you been? Shake their hand, go on about your business. What of it? He's like, no, 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 no. He's like, you, he's like, you trying to play dumb. But we caught, I caught you. You're trying to play dumb. I caught you. You keep doing this. I'm just going to get mad and let the cops handle it. And I look at him like, dude, there's nothing for the cops to handle, though. Like, at this point, usually, I would just be a smart ass, be a dickhead to him, whatever. Just 
just, just mainly be a smart ass. But I was like legit. I was like, I was honestly first. This is probably the first time I've ever been scared to be in that office. Probably the only time I've ever been scared to be in the office. I was like, like I didn't even, I like I was I was I was honestly even scared to just be a smart ass by anything. I was like, cause I'm like I gotta play this smart as fuck, or he's gonna get me put in jail for some fuck shit I ain't even done. He kept playing it back and back again, slower and slower. He's like, look, 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 you, you can see it right there. Called in the other principal. He's like, Miss Manley, I almost dropped her name too. He's like, can you see that? And she was like, yeah, I can see that. Plain as day. She's like, yep, you did it. Just admit to it. And I look at her, I'm like, I look at her, and at this point, I was aggravated. I was I was done playing nice guy. I was done trying to watch my temper and mouth. I was done. I'm like, I look at her, I'm like, word for word, no exaggeration. You're a dumb cunt. You're a dumb cocksucker. I ain't done jack shit. Fuck off. And they both look at me. I'm like seriously. You, you're, I'm, I'm like seriously. And he he started saying something. He started to say something. I'm like no. Shut the fuck up. I'm pissed off. I'm not aggravated. I'm pissed. Y'all brought me in here. Y'all have called me out on stuff for and thought I was pissed off. No, I was aggravated. Little little aggravated. Little little butt hurt. I ain't butt hurt. I'm pissed off. I'm like you, you know, you've seen my mom pissed off. Yeah, and you. I didn't. I know it's my mom. You've seen her through me. I'm pissed off. I'm her level pissed off. Because I don't know what I did. Y'all being super duper vague. Alright, and that's what's making me the maddest. You obviously got something super twisted. Alright, I ain't trying to, you know, cuss y'all out. I'm trying to, you know, you you can tell. You've had me four years. You know. That I've done hell of than I should have on this. Now I usually would. Like, quit being vague. Just be blunt. Just blunt. Point out. I ain't gonna bitch about it. I ain't gonna go bitch my mom about it. I don't care. This, as far as I'm concerned, staying between us. I don't care. Because it's obviously just twisted. This is just ain't y'all picking on me. Y'all seriously just got some straight twist. Didn't understand that. Just, what is it? It'll stay between us. What is it? And he was like, all right. But when I tell you, and if unless you can prove it 100% to be wrong, we'll just have the RCPD handle it. And you're 18, you know what that means? I'm like, there's nothing for them to handle. And when they see it and review the footage and, you know, actually pull, and if it's as bad as you think it is, pull motherfuckers off the bus and ask them, and they're like, no, nah, that ain't no that one. He wasn't doing that. And even if I was doing anything, the motherfuckers on the bus ain't gonna snitch because they ain't got no reason to. It's like, I was like thinking, I'm like, dude, I'm just thinking, like, dude, just let him handle it. You know, I'll, I'll leave in handcuffs, get out of school the rest of the day. They'll, after about two hours of talking to some cops and then like bringing witnesses in and shit, just questioning people, they'll realize it ain't twist. They'll realize that school just had twist in their dumbasses. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm just like, just. What is it? Blunt. Just be blunt. Be blunt or I'm just fucking leaving and the cops can just find me. Told him. He's like, fine. But after this, I can't. After this, and you, if you can't prove to me wrong, if you can't prove me wrong, I'll let the cops handle it. And I can't help you after that. And I'm like, just, just tell me. What is it? He's like, fine. You're passing something to Elijah when you shook hands. And I'm like, no, I wasn't. He's like, yeah, you was. You pulled your hand out of your pocket. You had your hand looking weird. And you shook his hand. And then you magically just didn't put the hand back in that pocket after you shook his hand. And I was like, okay, yeah, obviously. Okay, yeah, okay, 100%. I'm, I'm a hell less mad now. I'm like, all right, hear me out, 100%. It's all the way twisted. Um, I was like, okay, here's my backpack. I got a dip in there. I want it back. I'm going to get back either way. And I did. He wouldn't get back to me. I had to go steal it. That's for later in the story. It's like, I want my dip. If you don't give me my dip, we'll probably fight. I'm like, here's my bag. Find drugs. So I call Elijah Vaught in. Check his bag. Find drugs. At this point, I'm like, fuck, Elijah may get caught with dip. But I ain't trying to snitch. But I'd much rather that. Him get caught with dip. And then this just be ended. Instead of me and him both. Going to jail for passing shit we didn't even pass. Like, nah. Like, that just, this ain't even counting snitching. This is like saving both of us from getting in trouble for some shit we didn't even do. Like, I'm like, if he give, I'm like, thinking if he gets that bitch, I get paid in three days. I'll buy him a fucking can of dip. I don't give a damn. I was like, yeah. They're like, oh no, we'll call him in, in a little bit. Don't worry about it. And if he's, and if he tells on, if he rats on you, I'm gonna give him a plea deal. I'm gonna tell him if he tells on you, he'll get it less. If he tells on you, You'll get in a lot less trouble than you. And he's underage, too. And I'm like, well, that don't really matter if we actually was passing drugs on the bus. The age don't really. A seven, someone at the ass in the 17, now, nah, that don't really count. You're going to be tried as an adult, same as me. 
don't really matter. He searched my bag. I'm like, you find anything? And he was like, smells a little iffy. I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, if it's not, it smelled like pot, but I couldn't say that. You know, under circumstances, I couldn't say, yeah, it smelled like pot, because then you'd think I told on myself. I'd like, well, yeah, I got weightlifting. Not only are my sweaty ass weightlifting clothes in there, but sits in the locker room for like an hour. And usually I don't even put it inside. Usually I just leave it outside and get rain on and all the type of shit. You know, yeah, it probably does smell. Probably does smell iffy. Probably does smell weird, you know. He searched like a motherfucker, like ripped my backpack apart. Didn't find nothing. And I'm like, all right, you want to search me? This man want to leave? Me and you both dudes. We both know what's between our legs. Like, Prince, would she want to leave? She got to leave first. Because I ain't flashing a four-year-old woman my pecker. You know, you a grown man. Same as me. You know it's there. We, we, I will, we will strip search my ass. I don't give a fuck. I just want to get out of here. This is pissing me off. Again. You know, he didn't do that, but he did. He's like, empty your pockets and shit. Empty those back pockets. Took my boots off. Had a jacket on me. And I was like, yeah, I was like, church the fuck out of that. It was nothing. Searched the line on my hat and everything. And I'm like, okay. There's nothing on me. And I'm like, you're a grown man. Don't act like you don't know. Me and you both know what the county we live in. Me and you both know what someone on drugs looks like. Do I really look like a person that's on drugs? Do I really look like I just did drugs before I got on the bus? He's like, I guess not. I'm like, okay. Does the last your bot look like someone that does drugs for you on the bus? And he's like, nah. And I was like, okay. Does Elijah, I'm like, does Elijah look like someone does drugs either? He's like, no, he don't. I'm like, okay. Then where does this make any sense to He's like, oh, you saw passing something. He was like, he's like, uh, at this point, he's like, uh, well, may not have been drugs, but y'all was passing something. Y'all was passing, you was, was passing him dip or something. I was like, no, I ain't gonna be that vague about passing dip. If someone wants a dip, they ask me, they're gonna holler at me from fucking, you can ask anyone on that bus. They'll holler, at, they'll holler at me from seats away if I got a dip, and if I got one, I'll have it passed up to them. That's how we all do it. We ain't fucking trying to be slick middle schoolers about it. If someone wants a dip, we hand it to them. We don't care. None of us care. We all know we ain't snitching. We don't care. So, I mean, that's out, that's out of the question. And it's like, okay, well, then y'all's passing something. I was like, I prayed to you. He's like, just, just please. He's like, you know what? If you just tell me to dip, and I, because... He's like, I just want to try. I don't want you to go to jail. I really don't. I know he's like, I know we've had our arguments in the past, but I don't want you. I don't want to see you go to jail or something. You, I take this dip. You just say, you just, just straight lie to me and say it was, you was passing dip. I take this can. We leave it at that. Don't talk about it anymore. Y'all go to pass for three days. And I was like, no. He was like, what? And I was like, I'm giving you a chance to get out of a lot of trouble. I'm like, no, you ain't. Dude, there ain't no trouble for me to get out of. How many times got to tell y'all that? And at this point, he was just kept accusing me. He kept going on and on and on. I jumped up out of that seat. I slung the fucking seat back. It slammed the filing cabinet. This filing cabinet almost fell. My, like, I had veins popping out my forehead. And I was like, you goddamn fucking idiot. If I say ain't goddamn got nothing, I ain't goddamn got nothing. And he said, don't you take the Lord's name in vain. I screamed. I'm like, shut your goddamn mouth. And I'm like, I'm done. You call Elijah in here. He's going to tell you the exact same shit. Maybe he can keep you from having it twisted. Before I beat your goddamn ass. And he said, was that? He said, you threaten me? I'm like, no, I didn't threaten you, dude. I've threatened to fight you before and it never happened. This is a goddamn promise. I've got a good three minutes before a cop can get up here. I'm going to knock your teeth. I'm going to knock you the fuck out. I advanced. I'm like, the actual lady teacher or principal, she made him. She made him. He was about to say something. She knew. Like, she knew I was pissed that pissed. She made him leave the office. She's like, get out of here. And she's like, he was like, oh, Mr. Tuesday. He's like, oh, but, but. She was like, I'm above you. You're the vice principal. I'm the principal. I'm your boss. Leave. She made him leave for a good 10 minutes. And she was being cool. Like, she wouldn't accuse me of nothing. No low-key accusing. She was asking questions. She was like, wait, well, you, you need to calm down. Let me sit down for a minute. She's like, man, you look like he's about to have a stroke. And I was like, I'm, I was about to knock his teeth out. I'm like, I don't care if I was going to jail. I was about to knock him slick out. And she's like, I ain't no way to handle nothing. I'm like, well, when I'm, acu when I'm being accused of passing drugs for one, that's bad enough. Right? For, for one. Or two, when you search me and it's proved, it's pretty much clear I ain't got nothing. That's oh, that's bad on its own. I mean, when it's, when you just like trying to take like false accusations and trying to make them real, nah, that ain't right. Like there wasn't nothing right about that, and you know there wasn't. I mean, yeah, I mean, I told him to be blunt about it, but I didn't tell him to just straight up accuse me of fuck shit. I, I told him to be blunt about why he had me in there, what he thought I did. She's like, yeah, I know. 
And she was like asking me questions, like ball, pretty much the same questions he asked, but just like low key as fuck, like taking a different route. And I looked at her, I was like, if you if you just called me in here, this would have been this would have went hella smoother. And I probably wouldn't have been out of here. I wouldn't even got mad. She'd be like, I know. I was like, Why couldn't why? Why? She's like, I she's like, from now on I'll do, I get you from now on. I'm like, good, thank you. She let him come back and me and him both cooled down. Me and him both, he was like, all right, you know what, that was, that was bull. He was like, that was bull. And I was like, you know what, yeah, you, you're right, 100%, that was bull. Shouldn't have escalated like that. We, I was like, because I was like legit scared I was going to like go to jail. Whether I hit him or I got to jail for for like selling drugs and didn't have any drugs. I was like, yeah, you're right, 100%. First time I ever agreed with him, I was like, yeah, we, it's like, you can, you, you know it too. We both need to start acting more adult. Because if we just keep every five minutes arguing like this, ain't we going to, Ain't nothing gonna get figured out. Five minutes, that's fucking two hours. Two hours, like every five minutes out that we'd argue. Like, we couldn't get five minutes without arguing. So I was like, he was like, yeah, you're 100% right. I was like, all right, let's take a step. I was like, all right, so let's mean you both take a step back. Let's take a couple steps back. Be adult. Because I'm honest, honest to God, you know for a fact. When you catch me, I just, I just tell you. Do I not? Every time. He's like, yeah, you have. I'm like, all right. So does that not give me a little bit of pull when I say you got something twisted that you most likely got twisted? He's like, yeah, I guess it should, but with what I got, I'm like, I'm like, listen, I can't see what you got. I see what you got, but I don't see it. I think you're just paranoid. Like, honestly, being 100%, I think you're just paranoid or something. Because, literally, yeah, I took my hand out of my pocket, shook the dude's hand, but that was it. Shook his hand. Yeah, I didn't put it back in my pocket because two seconds later, I sat back down and like, Pulled my phone and picked some music. Like, there was no point. And I was like, yeah, I had my hands in my pocket before I got on the bus, but you see me walking around all the time. You know, I never have my hands out of my pocket. I'm lazy. I keep them rested when I can. And he was like, yeah. I'm like, no, let's do a smart thing. Well, me and you both level headed. Let's call the other guy in here. Let's call him in here. I'll step out if you need me to, or I'll stay in here, whatever you want. So you ask him, he'll pretty much tell you the exact same thing. He's a little bit more level-headed than me. Maybe he can talk to you a little bit better. Maybe he, maybe he can fix this shit. Two hours of arguing. Finally did that. Finally level-headed. Realized I wouldn't get anywhere. Just arguing with him. Said that. And this dude got me and him both out of like trouble that shouldn't even have happened. Because I sat in the chair. I was still heated as fuck, but I was trying to calm down. Pulled him in there. Talked to him with a completely different tone of voice. Completely different tone of voice. Didn't like straight up accuse him of shit and accuse him of lying and all sort of fuck shit, which pissed me off. Just listening to him talk, how his tone of voice was, how more reasonable he was to listen to him, it made me so goddamn mad. I wanted to say shit so hard, but I didn't. So I'm like, fuck, I need to shut. I need to keep this fuck shut up because he's actually making progress. I don't need to fuck this up at all. I need to keep my mouth shut, even though I wanted to cuss him out really bad at that point. Literally, he was in there for maybe five minutes and he was out. He searched him, didn't find no drugs, looking at his arms, didn't find no needle marks, nothing. And I was like, I was being a smart Smith Mag leaving gate there. The principal gave me this dirty look. Like, cause I was like, I looked at him, I was like, what, what the fuck I tell you? She gave me this dirty look of like, you need to shut up. Cause he's actually making, he's actually working on fixing this. So I'm like, you're right, my bad. I, just, I sat there and I was like, yep, never mind. Sorry, looked out the window, tried to tone him out, tried to tune him out. And like, Dude even told me on the bus that, that afternoon, he's like, yeah, no, principal got him retarded. Because I called him out, I was like, I was about to fight him. Like, honestly, I was that mad that he could actually, because principal, like, showed him the exact same video. And dude literally was like, yeah, I guess I can see where you're getting, where you're getting, like, what you're getting. Principal was like, thank you, you know what I mean? Yeah, I you know, appreciate that, you know, be you being a little bit more adult. And I looked at him, I was like, okay, for one, I'm being quiet. I kept, I didn't fight you. You know if my temper, I've been with you enough, you know I did good. So I don't even want to hear it. Went back to being quiet. And he was like, and I was like right right, right then they're ready to fight that, that dude for even actually even considering agreeing with him. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I can see where you thought that we was passing, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember exactly what happened. It was forever ago. Like, it was mid-year. I don't even remember. I was heated. I was so mad blacking in out through the whole thing. That's how mad I was. I don't remember exactly what him and the principal said. But it was pretty much just... The dude pretty much just kissed his ass like, yeah, I understand where you're getting this, but no, nothing went down, man. Nothing went down. You know, here's my bag, you know. Search it. Nothing went down. Drug test me. I couldn't pass a drug test. Me, personally, I couldn't. I mean, what the fuck are you going to do? I couldn't pass one. Who gives a fuck? My business, not anyone else's. This dude could, though. 
ROTC kid, he could. Easily. So I was like, hell yeah. And uh, he and I was like, oh fuck, what if he if he asked me, I'm just gonna have to go with it. I was like, but he did, and he was like, I may take you up on that. And he was like, just like calm as fuck, cause he knew he could pass one. He was like, do it. I mean, just took one a few days ago from the ROTC. I can no problem. I mean, do it. Dude, literally, he's like, who, he was like, all right, well, who's sitting next? He looked at me, he's like, who's sitting next to you? I was like, I was sitting alone. Who's closest person? I can't remember what I told him. I can't remember who's like in the seat across from me. It wasn't Roy. Roy's already graduated. I don't think it was Bobby. I think Bobby was in the seat ahead of me. No, I was right across the... Was you the one sitting across from me? I was right across the aisle. Okay, I couldn't remember. Okay, it was him. I, I, I knew at the time, obviously. I told him to sit next to me. And then and then Elijah told him to sit next to him. Chick in the middle school. Called her up. She got called in the office. And even she said, she was like... The principal was like, it's her word against yours. If she says different than y'all, cops showing up, y'all both y'all even in handcuffs. And I was like, I looked at Vaught and I was like, because the principal left, he left us alone in there. He left to go call up the other principal. I was like, dude, I hope to God that that bitch ain't got nothing against you. Because she could literally just, for the fuck of it, have us thrown in jail. He's like, yeah, no, we good. He's like, what the, he's like, what the fuck is this about, though? I'm like, dude, I don't know. We both must just looked at him. We both must just looked at him funny. I don't fucking know. He came back about 20 minutes later or some shit. Took him like forever to get hold of him for the other principal for some reason. Came back like 20 minutes later, some shit. You know, in that time, I had uh, two cans on me. One can wasn't mine. I was holding it for someone. I thought they was going to get caught in my skull can. In that time, I got that dude's can back while he was gone. I knew where he put it. Got in the filing cabinet, got that guy's fucking can back. Uh, grabbed Elijah's can out, threw it to him. And he was like, What about your can? I'm like, ah, I'll let it sit there till 3 o'clock. I don't need to get taken again. Wait until I'm cracked. I'll get it later. He came back like 20 minutes later. He's like, all right, this is what's going to happen. Um, y'all going to go into, he said he's going to call her out. At some point, she's taking a test for some shit. So I'm like, I don't remember. Something important. Something more important than us going to jail for whatever reason, which pissed me off. He was like, all right, so y'all going to go back to class. He's like, yeah, y'all going to go back to class. Um, if I call you back down in 20 minutes or and if I call you back down at any point in the day and it's not for something else, if I just randomly just call you down to my office, um, just get ready because, you know, you're going to jail. And I was like, whatever. And I was honestly still scared because this dude, I was scared that this dude just, just out of spite to fuck with me would have just sent me to jail. I was like, fucking A. Uh, Elijah left and he stopped me. He's like, no, hold on, you. And I looked at him with the dirtiest look. I was like, what? And he was like, don't get that tone of voice to me. I'm like, shut the fuck up. What? And he was like, he's like, I should send you to detention, expel you, and all this other stuff, how you talk to me. I'm like, dude, fucking do it. This is like, what? The fifth time you've tried to send me to jail for no reason? And I'm over here like, I go outside of school, I do the most fucked up shit. She only seen goddamn video games. I should have been sent to jail a long time ago for her. Don't even get fucked up. Don't even get anywhere near the cops, bad side. And you several times try to send me to jail, dude. You're just doing it for the hell of it. And I know you are. Like, no. I'm going to class. I'm finishing the school day. I'm, I'm coming in here at 3 o'clock. You might as well just give me my can. Because either way, I'm going to come here at 3 o'clock and get it. And if it's not in a filing cabinet, I'm going to tear your fucking office apart to find it. And I'll be damned. I probably won't come back for a few days. I'm taking a mental health week. And, you know, he just looked at me. He didn't even say anything. Because he knew I was ready to pop him. He didn't even say anything. He's like, he, he knew not to press his luck. So he's like, going back to class. If I don't call you back up, he's like, you know what? I didn't tell him that, but if I don't call you back up, I'm sorry. I was just worrying about, I couldn't have that shit if I thought it was, if it was what I thought it was, couldn't have it on my school grounds. I was like, I get that, but you know, I was like, I get that, but you know as good as I do. There was nothing there. You just do it as I, just to do it. And I left. I left it at that. Didn't get called back, obviously, because we didn't fucking do anything. Because if I'm going to pass drugs, um, I'm not going to get caught. I'm not that stupid. Like, I'm just straight up with y'all. I'm not going to get fucking caught. For one. All right, so that's your first mistake. Thinking you could thinking you could actually catch me. If I actually was. All right, so I go back to class. Obviously, didn't get fucking called back down. Uh, Three o'clock rolled around. Went to his office. Went, went into the filing cabinet where my dip was. My dip was still there. Got it. Holy shit, I think Bobby's seen it, actually. 
I, I stole another one while I was at it. I seen another another skull can. I took it too. This dude had my fucking dip in like a bag that motherfuckers put like radioactive shit in or like 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 shit or shit not nah, shit more like shit that uh he had my dip cans putting shit that a fucking cop. Well, no, he didn't see because I had to work that day. No, he didn't see. I don't think. Hmm. I'm talking about the shit. Did you see the shit he had my dip can in? The, I don't know the, if he. The evidence bag. Yeah, he straight up had it in a fucking like a police looking evidence bag, which I got good. I got my can. There was another can sitting in there. So happened. I just accidentally took took my shit back. Called me out the next day. He's like, "Why ain't that dip where I left?" I'm like, "Cause I told you I was gonna go get my can back." And I'll be, or it wasn't the next day. I didn't have to go to school the next day. I told him I probably wouldn't. I don't think I went to school. What was it? it was like two or three days I skipped school? It was a week. Oh, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was like a damn week. I just straight skipped school. And I just, like, was put on the schedule. I, like, had my boss put me on schedule morning shift that whole week. I just, like, skipped school and went to work. Went to work uh, throughout the morning and just chilled throughout the day. When I got back to where he was like, obviously, I didn't take any dips. I knew he'd call me out. He's like, where was that can at? Like, why am I at that can where I left? I was like, Cause I, fuck, I told you that I was going to go get my can back. You ain't taking my stuff. You ain't, you ain't robbing me. You know, no. I mean, I don't let mother, I don't let people on the, I don't let people, sketchy people in this town rob me. That I know will stab me if I look at them funny. Why would I let you rob me? And he held his hand out like, give it, give me, give me the candy guard right now. And I'm like, you think I'm that stupid? Look, I'm like, I ain't got a can. I got to dip in. I mean, if you want to like, finger around in my mouth and get it, you know, you're welcome to. Take me to dinner first, but as long as you don't get a boner, it's cool. <laughs> I was like, I don't give a fuck today. Like, I ain't stupid enough to bring a can. I ain't got work today, so I didn't need it. You know? Nah. I ain't that dumb. I ain't as dumb as you think I am. I'm smart. At least with fucking with you, yeah. Man, I don't got no book smarts, but as far as shit like this, man, I can fuck you up any day of the week. You can't beat me. It's that simple. I mean, you, you was a damn bookworm, college kid, coddled in life, protected from real shit. I learned real shit. I know, I just learned, man. From experience, I know. I, I mean, with shit I learned in this backwards ass fuck shit county, I can easily fuck up a principal at a high school. Dude was straight up like, you know, you was acting really immature about that. And I was like, you know, it was really immature. You. And I was like, I don't ever want to hear anything else like that again. Threatened several times to pop you. You threatened to call the cops on me again. You might as well go ahead and call them, cause you're gonna get the shit beat out of you. You better tell them to fucking hurry, cause all, I was like. I told him too, like I'm gonna beat you, man. Yeah. Like me and this dude, I didn't give a fuck. This dude, I hated him. I told him all the time, I was like, "You call the cops on me, I'm whooping your ass." Threatened all the time, like I just did because I knew he wouldn't do. It was mainly I mainly did it mostly because I knew he wouldn't do shit. I knew if I looked at him, I was like, "Bro, I'm about to whoop your fucking ass." I knew he wouldn't do shit, but be like, "No, I'll call the cops." I knew I'd just make him, you know, he wouldn't do shit. So I, I pretty much bullied him in that aspect, but he bullied me too. So it's all right. I told him too, I was like, man, I kept my word. I didn't. I told you. I told you, Miguel. Was going. This would stay between us so as long as I came out. As long as it came out good. And I mean, for the most part, except for the fucking bad headache you gave me, um, and the damn near stroke you caused me to have, it came out good. So I didn't tell anyone. All right. You keep good on your promises. I was like, nothing happened. Just quit getting stuff twisted. And he was like, and he was like, oh, and then he tried to say something else about me skipping a whole bunch of school, and I was like, no, don't even dare. Like I've I've gotten no it's like I've got literally not one problem with turning around and walking home. Thirty minute walk, I don't care. Stop and see my buddy Roy on the way back. Principal principal chick was there, he's like, I don't care how old you are, you can't leave the school without my permission. I was like, I do everything else without your permission. What's the problem? I was like, I really didn't I started turning around, they was like, nah, whatever, just stop. And I was like, Alright, good, I'm going to class, leave me alone. That was the last time they ever fucked with me, because they knew. Like, that was foul. That was foul. That was really foul play. Damn it, dude. Dude, Vought was, Vought was more pissed off than me. Me, I was about to, like, I was ready to fight Elijah. Because I thought he was straight up agreeing with the, with the principal. No, he told me on the bus, he's like, no, nah, I was just trying to, I was just like, I seen you just being a dickhead. I was trying not to be a dickhead. I was like, well, you did something right. Because no matter I was there, I just pretty much tried to fight him for, like, a good two hours. You guys out there in five minutes, so. Hell yeah, but. Yeah, he was sitting out in the waiting room for like a good 10, 20 minutes. Shouldn't you not, dude? I was in there for a good two hours. Same questions over and over again. That's what pissed me off. Just same thing over and over again. I know you did it, just admit to it. And I'm like, I didn't do anything to admit to. Elijah goes in there. 
Elijah goes in there and sitting there with me. He's got us out in five minutes. Yeah, he's in there kissing us. What to piss me off so bad and what makes me more believe that he just fucked, just fucked me just for the sake of fucking with me? Didn't say another word to it about Elijah. Super duper apologetic to him too. He's like, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to accuse you or not. Just blah, 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 whatever. Me, he just, he just kept trying to fuck with me. Like, shit, man. Like, fuck. This dude will tell you all the YouTubers do some story shit. Say they all bullshit. This dude was there pretty much. He was there. He's naked for some reason. He, seen, he was there for the most part. I mean, he didn't necessarily see it, but that shit got around really fucking quick. Well, I mean, both you guys did ride my bus. Well, I mean, yeah, just the fact that we got pulled out, though, and accused that fuck shit. I, I, I promised to do that when I went to my mom. I didn't tell nothing about hovering around school. I told everybody in the school. Went back to my second period class to get, my, to get uh, the shit that I missed. And the teacher was literally like, you actually didn't do anything this time. She literally just told me because she had a planning period. She's like, the only thing I've seen you would dip, what, what did you do? I told her straight up, I'm like, oh, well, I mean, I just got accused of passing drugs. She's like, well, you do a, a, a lot. And I'm like, yeah, but I can't. And I'm like, how'd you know? And I'm like, it's still hitting you pretty good when you're in my class. Pretty early. And I'm like, all right, fair enough, but I keep that shit at home. Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm like, I'm like, fair enough, but I keep that shit at home. You know, I ain't that stupid. Told her about two shit, yeah, it's stupid. I'm like, yeah, 100. I'm like, I'm failing your class already, and I actually decided, told you like a week ago, I was going to try to like, actually try to pass, and I'm just that much further behind. And I skipped out of school because he pissed me off. I'm like, yeah, it's just bad. It's all the way around foul. And I'm like, that was just fucked. That's pretty much what went down. I didn't want to tell stories. I think that's pretty interesting. Um... How the how to get fucked up by the public school for doing nothing? Try to instead of like trying to be a two year old and just kick someone in the balls, actually try to shake their hand when you know when you say hi to them. That's how you go to jail in public school. It's probably what we'll title this video: Story Time hashtag One How to Go to Jail in Public School. Hell yeah! But that's it. I may go ahead and record a couple more of these and put them up later because when I'm in the state of mind, I can remember shit really really good. But I'm out.